Hi, welcome back to part two of getting started with the Give of DAP. In this video, we are going to deploy our smart contracts on a local test RPC blockchain and the Feathers JSON cache server. For any questions or errors, join our Slack using this URL. Post any of your technical questions in the dev team channel. Okay, so out of the three servers that make up the Give of DAP, we are going to deploy these two, and these are the ports that they will be running on. Uh, to demonstrate, I have them up right now. This is the blockchain test RPC server, and this is the cache server. So this is what it's going to look like when we're done with this. So let's move on to the instructions, which are on GitHub. OK, so here are the instructions on the readme, and we are just going to follow along. So the first one is to click start on this repo near the top right page. Uh, trust me, we deserve it. And then number two is join our Slack if you haven't already. OK, so number three is fork the repo by clicking this button at the top here. And now we can go ahead and follow along with the instructions on our own repo. So the next step is to clone the repo. So you can grab this link here and then go to your own command line. You can do command spacebar terminal or uh, I actually have iTerm already up and running from before, but just to make it all honest, I'm going to close this and get out of this and go to a new folder and I'm gonna clone it here. Git clone and then paste that URL that I copied from GitHub. All right. So the next thing on instruction says to change directories into the folder we just downloaded. And then to make sure that we have these requirements. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, let's see, node v yarns. OK, so I'm going to make sure that I have all the requirements here. OK, and it looks like it matches. If you have um, if you don't have these versions or you get an error, you want to go ahead and stop here uh, until you have these requirements. You're going to go ahead and save yourself a lot of trouble. Um, but if you do have all of these without error or versions that are higher than these, you can go ahead and type npm install. Okay, now this is going to take about five minutes. And we are back. Type yarn test RPC and hit enter. All right, you just started the Ethereum test RPC server, so let's deploy some contracts to it. Um, we're going to need to open this in a new window since this window is being used by the blockchain test server. So I'm going to navigate to the desired folder. All right, here we are again. And I type node scripts deploy JS. Enter. Let's see what happens. All right, you see this action over here? We just deployed two contracts to our test blockchain, and here are their addresses for the Volt contract and the Liquid Pledging contract. So all we have to do now is say yarn start. And this will begin our cache server. All right, and there it is. So we're back where we wanted to be. All right, so congratulations. Check out our next video if you want to see the user interface that goes on top of these backend components. Lastly, um, if you would like to contribute to this open source code, please check out our issues on GitHub and pull from the develop branch. Thanks for watching.